Hello everyone and welcome back to another new album video. We're now on week 28 and this week we're taking a look at Chase the Clouds Away by Chuck Mangione. Uh, first release in 1975. Um, some notable tracks off this album include Song of the New Moon, Chase the Clouds Away, Chano, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, and Soft. I actually owned this one here on, on vinyl. Uh, this was actually from my parents' collection, and like I think they had opened it in such a way where mostly the the shriek wrap is still kind of on, and I just like that it has this uh, original price sticker there, four ninety eight from whatever they picked this up. Uh, maybe sometime in nineteen seventy five. I'm not exactly sure, but um, excellent uh, jazz record. I played this. Um, I've had this in my collection for a while, but I've um, had recently just played it, uh, listened to it all the way through for um, for the first time. So we have some notes here about it, and then we're just going to discuss the album and some of that stuff there. So we just get this open. Find out where we're at with this. Oh, there we go. All right. So, yeah, we're on, uh, again, week 28. So um, it's uh, Chuck Mangione, Chase the Clouds Away. First release in 1975. Um, tried to do some research on the when the actual release date was. Um, and every place I checked, like Discogs, um, just like various like music websites, just had it, had it at uh, 1975 with no, um, no date aside from that. So just 1975. This is Chuck Mangione's 10th studio album, which just uh, goes to show back in like the 70s, like artists would just kind of churn stuff out like really, really quickly. Um, I know like I have like a bunch of like things like some Stevie Wonder like vinyls where, you know, like one year he put out an album, next year he put out an album, the year after that he put out an album. Um, I think there was just a faster kind of turnaround on, on, on back in the 70s or maybe even like the 60s because like you have like an album like this which is like their 10th record but, you know, they had only been putting records out for maybe, like, a certain, like, a very short amount of time. Um, I think Elton John was the same way. I have a few Elton John records where it's, like, literally, like, maybe we, even within, like, the same year putting out, you know, a record and then putting out another record later in the year. So this is kind of, like, a sign of the kind of, like, the times of the music industry in the 70s. It's kind of interesting. Um, the reason I ended up listening to this record is I was re uh, reminiscing for some reason about the scene in Doctor Strange where uh, Chuck Mangione kind of, like, his music at least, plays a very small part in um, Doctor Strange's, like, like character, not necessarily his character arc. But he's listening to some music, and then his, like, assistant, he's doing, like, an open heart surgery or some kind of complicated surgery. And they play um, a song, not off this record, but off of, like, a, a future record of his, maybe, like, an album or two later, which is uh, feel so good. He plays it, and he's like, he's like, oh, I mean, I thought this was gonna, this is gonna be hard. He's like, it's uh, feel so good by Chuck Mangione from 1977, and his um, assistant is like, oh no, it's actually from 1978. And then Doctor Strange has to go to the whole thing. He's like, he's like, it may have first started, sorry, it may have first charted in 1978, but was actually released in December of 1977. And then he was like, and, then, and that's kind of the reason I ended up like wanting to listen to like this music because I I was like I knew I had one album of his in my collection because I keep uh I've like all my vinyls are you can't see you can't see all of them but they're all right there. Uh, that shelf is pretty full. There's one over here that the camera doesn't see, and there's another one below that which is pretty much completely full. Even the one right there that has some other stuff in it right now, I'm having to pull some of that stuff out as I get um more more vinyls, like the Cowboy Carter vinyl, and the Lana Del Rey stuff is, is down there now, too. But I knew I had this record, and was like, I'm doing this whole series where I'm listening to stuff that's completely new to me, or I, I maybe have heard, like, a track of it. I haven't heard a single song off this record until somewhat recently, so I played it, really had a good time listening to it. it there, It's basically almost all just um, instrumental jazz. I think there might be, like, some slight vocalizations on um, some of the tracks as well, but mostly just a um, very laid back, easy listening uh, jazz record. Um, I had a really good time listening to it. I also then went back and listened to uh, Feel So Good as well. That was the one that was uh, referenced in Doctor Strange. Listen to that one as well. Um, 
really like that one, but I think I liked um, Chase the Cloud Away just a little bit more. That's why I went with that album for uh, this video instead of the other. But um, there's not a lot of uh, information about this album. Like in my research, there was just like very, um, very kind of cut and dry information. So like this is probably going to be a shorter video. But um, the song Chase the Clouds Away was used in the uh, 1976 uh, Summer Olympics in Montreal. So that kind of was one of the songs that they played at that Olympics. And now we're going to get into our track listing. You can see we have, the track listing isn't on here, but we have like, I do like that and it's still partially, partially sealed there. And I like the album artwork. It looks like you have a house and he's just blown his, his horn and get the, the, um, the clouds to go away. So cool artwork on that. But uh, let me actually pull up the track list here. It's a fairly short record. Uh, comes in at, let me see, 35 minutes and 22 seconds. Uh, six total tracks. And let's see here. Let's just start up. So track one is Song of the New Moon. I think that's probably my favorite track on the album. It's um, also, let me see, not quite the longest. There, but it's like the second longest track on the record. Uh, so track one is Song of the Song of the New Moon. Probably my favorite on there. Uh, track two is um, we can. Sorry, track two is Can't We Do This All Night. Track three is uh, He Was a Friend of Mine. Track four is Ichano. That's the longest track on the album, coming in at over eight minutes, like eight minutes and 31 seconds. Um, track five is the title track, which is Chase the Clouds Away. And then uh, track six is Soft. The personnel on this record are, uh, basically it's all written, all the stuff is written by Chuck Mangione. But uh, Chuck Mangione on the Fugal Horn or Flugel Horn, Electric Piano and the Fender Rhodes. Dr. Strange makes a comment about him being able to chart a top hit using a fugal horn in the um, that scene of Dr. Strange. So Chuck Mangione Chuck is on those instruments. You, we have uh, Jerry Kneewood on the flute, the soprano saxophone, the alto saxophone, and the alto flute. Uh, Catherine Moses on the flute and piccolo. Uh, Bill Reichenbeck Jr. on the trombone. Edgar uh, Lustgarden on the cello. Uh, Joe Lar Joe Larbarb sorry. <laughs> Joe LaBarbera on the drums, Charles Chip Jackson on the bass, uh, Vincent DeRosa on the French horn, and Esther Satter, or Satterfield on, um, on vocals. Um, only has one review listed here from like back in the back. It's like all music has it. Looks like it had a three out of five. Um, I think it's probably, in my opinion, probably quite closer to like a four out of five. Um, I had a great time listening to this, and I've listened to uh, more jazz this year than I probably anticipated. So I'll probably be doing other jazz musicians um, on this series in the future. Uh, like I said, we're going to do, again, we're about the, about at the halfway point of this series. We're going to do uh, go up to 52, and then we'll do like statistics like we did last year. But I really enjoyed this album. It was very much like a laid-back, easy-listening jazz experience. And like it wasn't like a whole lot of... There's some jazz music where there's like just like a ton of stuff going on all at once. Uh, this didn't really feel like that. It felt very, like I said, more in the kind of easy listening side of jazz music. And like this year, I listened to some really good uh, albums. I've listened to like so, like a bunch of Miles Davis stuff, a bunch of um, John Coltrane stuff as well. And then you know like um, this album, Chase the Clouds Away, and um, Feel So Good by Chuck Mangione. So. Definitely going to listen to some more jazz records, and probably some more of those artists will probably pop up in this series at some point. But uh, this is a, an excellent uh, just jazz record. I had a great time listening to it. Um, it's on, I think I listened to it on Apple Music, but I also spun the vinyl as well, because like, I listened to it on Apple Music initially on like, a commute to work, because it was like the perfect length with it being like 30, like 6 minutes or so. And then also, remember, I had the album on vinyl, and then ended up um, listening to that as well but uh that is going to do it for this video we'll be back again in a week with a whole new album no idea what that's going to be just yet uh, some of these are kind of planned out a little bit some of these are just very kind of spur of the moment this one was a little more planned out but sometimes like i'll just do an album like uh like day of and just be like that's a really good album that's going to be the next video that kind of thing but uh, we'll be doing this until the end of the year and then we'll do our statistical breakdown of like the various um like genres and decades of um, these albums. But again, that's going to do it for now. So thanks for watching. Take care and have a good one. See ya.